40 somethings. 30. 30. Okay. Hello and welcome to Trenta. 30 something conversations with 30 somethings for 30 somethings and the 30 something else. Tonight, we're going to be talking about building a home away from home. And my guests are two of my really good friends. They're the leavers because last year they left the Philippines for greener pastures and to get married. So without further ado, here are Brent and Inting. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is it the other think. year? I think. This is 2019, right? Yeah, 2019. So what I ask my guests at the show first to do is to give their ASL, if you don't mind. So care to give your ASL, guys? <laughs> go, Tane, go. <laughs> no, you go first. I'm, I'm a spectator, do I? Wow, whatever. <laughs> like Diva. Hi. Okay. Fine. Okay. So I'm 30, male, and in Melbourne. Maybe. Lovely. Mabin. I'm yes, 31, sir. male, based in Sydney. All right. Thank you, Nadeka. Yeah, more. Yeah, much. Mas siguro ang bayar sa Besh. Oh, yeah. No, si, si Paige pa ng OG. Well, Craig yeah, is si OG, OG. Craig is the OG, OG. Bomba. <laughs> Yeah, okay, thank you for giving your ASL. So clearly, they're both in Australia. And, I, and as I was saying earlier, 2019 was, I think, a really big year for both of you because you both turned 20, sorry, you both turned 30, you moved to Australia, you got married, not to each other, just to clarify. <laughs> and it is I was hoping for that. So, first off, did you ever see yourself living abroad? Like, <clears throat> For good, or I don't know, for, for a time. You start thing. <laughs> I, I start? Okay. Yeah, start. Well, as, as for myself, I think in the earlier years, yes, very much so, I guess. Especially in the mid 20s, like 24, 25. I actually had a chance back then to move to New Zealand, but um, it didn't pull through. So, but I've always seen myself moving abroad checking out greener pastures or at least getting some experience mm -hmm. but yeah i guess i never had the chance mm -hmm. but yeah basically what mm -hmm. about you my friend opposite from vic said like i've never thought i would live away from home mm -hmm. i always felt that i would grow old and open and in the, wow. you know like going yeah I, yes. I always thought like build the family there like go to uh -huh. the beach on the weekends and stuff. And uh, yeah, so I never expected that I would be here where I am now. So Aww. what made you decide to finally move? Well, obviously, because you guys got married, but or maybe so maybe I'll just rephrase. What were the greatest adjustments you made? Hmm. So wait, is, is it what made us decide or is it more of adjustments? No, because I, I would assume what made you decide was because you were getting married. So wrong question, Desha. But if you wanna add to if you wanna add to that reason, then feel free. But my follow-up no, no, question no, no. would be what were what were the biggest adjustments that you made when you moved uh, to Australia? Or when you finally decided to move to Australia? So I'll start. Remember my friend, we, we went to Dessert Factory in Jason. Yes, yes. Oh I remember God. that. Super. Yeah. So I remember that conversation. Uh, I was I was in with uh, with uh, my previous company and then I was thinking that uh, I'm going to get married now. Like I was, um, I, I was decided to get married. Like not thinking that uh, getting married would mean me going to Australia and uh, me moving moving here. So yeah so when i decided and then it sunk me sink in that i yeah. was gonna i was going to transfer so the biggest adjustment i think is uh what is it like i really don't know because we came because we we lived in manila we were all by ourselves mm -hmm. but maybe 
the one of the biggest adjustment is not seeing more familiar people mm. like on the weekends mm-hmm. like spending what do you mean by familiar <laughs> like <clears throat> like maybe you guys <laughs> like you know like ah, okay like like we we, we would spend like uh, on like the the saturday going out like for, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. for for food and stuff i think that's one of the greatest adju- adjustment although i had kring so yeah. we had i had to adjust my like my how do I say it? I was used to like having a lot of people around me. Now I'm just happy with me and and Kring going out and like walking park mm. and stuff. Aww. One of the I think that's one of the big adjustments for me. What about you, Thing? Um, I guess with regards to adjustments, I think it's important. It's it's hard because it's you have to distinguish between two changes that happened within last year, I guess. Mm-hmm. One is we moved abroad, so there's yeah. that change, and the other is we got married, which is mm-hmm. another transition in itself. Mm-hmm. We'll get so, to the married part after. Yeah, but I mean, when you talk about mm-hmm. transitions and what you needed to adjust, there's stuff you need to adjust when you get married, and there's stuff you need to adjust when you move abroad or mm-hmm. move elsewhere. So I, mm-hmm. I can't really, I'm not really sure if these adjustments are ba- because of get we got married or mm-hmm. because of we moved. Abroad, mm-hmm. but I mean, like the biggest one, you know, I think it resonates with a lot of people who moved abroad. So I'll, I'll focus on that rather than the getting married part. Mm-hmm. Or I know, I'm missing out on, I guess, everyday luxuries that we had back home. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's mm-hmm. always you're you're always aware that, of course, labor is cheaper back home. So there's a lot of things that are generally cheaper back home. Like services are cheaper back home, getting laundry. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, you never thought about doing your own laundry mm-hmm. back home, right. right? Mm-hmm. Back home, you always had your laundry done by someone else. Yeah. You always had food deliveries. You always had access to, um, I guess, services like massages or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're pretty cheap. For like a basic massage here, which is pretty bad in comparison mm-hmm. to back home, is much, much more expensive. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Even haircuts here are expensive. Yeah, I mean, haircuts here, I mean, compared to, like, when I compare it to, say, because uh, before I used to go to John Barber's in Makati, hmm. it's really, I mean, it's, re- it's really a nice lot. place, diba? Right? You've been there, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out I mean, it's, it's, it's a really, really nice place, and it's pretty, yeah. like, I guess it's mm-hmm. somewhat upscale, na siguro, with Makati. Yeah. But the service is really good, and it's, like, 350, 300 pesos, 350 pesos, which is, like, $10. But a cheap haircut here is, like, $30. So, yeah, na. Well, here in Melbourne, I mean, there's like fifteen dollars, but it's for students, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you can find ten dollars, fifteen dollars for more number of Chinese markets, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not really, for not like really. the regular haircut here is like thirty dollars, and it's 30, not yeah, super well done compared mm-hmm. to back home. So it's like thrice the price, and it's like a gindale or something. Yeah. So I mean, like that. Everyday luxuries that we have. Delivery, especially that. Before, like, always had delivery. Mm-hmm. It's always easy to get out. It's always easy to eat out. Here, you're mm-hmm. more picky because it's a bit more, yeah, expensive or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. So would you say you gained a deeper appreciation for the little things, I guess, in a way? Sorry? Would you say your, your being there helped you gain... Uh, well, aside from a new perspective, more ap- appreciation for the little things that we used to take for granted, or we may be taking for granted, like for us here in the Philippines. Mm. I would have thought so, but less th- that more of, I guess, how exploited some people are back home. Oh, that's true too. That's mm. true. Because labor is very cheap. Uh-huh. Yeah, labor is very cheap. I mean, you, you, I mean, you can't live off minimum wage back home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here, true. it's much, much better. Which mm-hmm. is why I'm halas. I'm halas at everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like how everything uh, that involves labor is really expensive. Like, have even, even for example, like um, when we moved in, uh, one of our faucets were really loose. So mm-hmm. in the Philippines, we could have called like um. Uh, like a no, like a plumber, a plumber who yeah. who comes. Plumbers like here are crazy expensive. Yeah, so like here, good thing like 
um, it was the the, the 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 building's responsibility to fix the the, the what do you call this the the faucet. Mm -hmm. I guess they're paid like. Siguro like 30, 35 an hour just to fix the faucet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, per hour. And a part and of that, there's like a, there's what they call a call out fee, diba? Right? The mm, fact that they have fee. to get out. Yeah. There's an additional fee. So there's like a base fee on top of their hourly rate. So I mean, th those things that, like Brad said, like skilled trades. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they call them tradies here. Tradies. So Pilipinas is like they're dirt cheap. Or here it's crazy mm -hmm. expensive. So it's not just plumbers. Like, Everything that's like mechanics or even locksmiths. Locks, locksmiths are very expensive here. So if you get locked out, you have to pay like $100 or upwards. Uh -huh. And just to get unlocked. But back home, like example, so before when I used to live in Makati, I had a lockout. I had a lot of money, $100. But over here, it's like $100. Diba? I mean, you have a... I think it's less of like, we think it's expensive. I mean, that's from our perspective. That it's, uh -huh. it's, it's expensive. But maybe that's really how we should be treating these yeah, skill trades. Because mm -hmm. it's not really, well, siguro, most of, like, there's too many people with that talent. So it's very disposable back home for, hmm. I don't know. Sorry, wait, I have to end the meeting because I have it now for 40 minutes and then I will just call again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay sure. sure. And that ends part one. And that ends part one of our podcast. And we're back. Okay, so we were talking about how in the Philippines we're kind of spoiled because there's cheap labor readily available. Mm -hmm. Would you say that there were also times where you're forced to do it yourself? Yeah. Or you would, you would opt to do it yourself or learn new, learn new skills? Hmm. Yeah, like um, sometimes people get to glamorize like lo doing laundry, cooking, uh -huh. watching at home, you know, like, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm domesticated, whatever. But uh -huh. at the end of the day, these are the things you wish you had sometimes, you know, like when you wake up, you have food on the table. Uh -huh. And then, you know, like when you, when you want to use your clothes na, you have someone to wash and press them for you. Here, you have to do everything. And like, um, like you cook in the morning, you wake up and then you, you wash and then you go to work. Mm -hmm. Then for, for your clothes, like I've never worn clothes that, that were pressed ever here in, in Melbourne. So all, my, all our clothes are just dried and folded. So whatever, yeah. all the wrinkles, whatever. Yeah, we, we tried. I, I think that's a skill that we have yet to, you know, to... Yeah, we, we tried, yeah, we tried. But, I mean, it's, it takes too much time. We even tried to get a steamer once. Oh. And <laughs> we then... We got a steamer because we only used then... it for like a week. And then, no lana. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So, like, a lot of things na you, you wish you had someone to help you. But, but I don't know. Like, I'm enjoying these things. Hmm. You know, yeah. To, yeah, to, definitely. All things. I, uh, I wouldn't say the force naman no, because laundry is something that I guess you can do naman no, jud. But at least I'm we're I mean we're lucky I guess that we haven't had to do like siguro electrical stuff or plumbing stuff, de Yeah, Because no. some people really really like choose not to call the plumber because it's mm -hmm. really expensive. Like the bill could go up to four hundred dollars or something. Mm -hmm. Some people try to do it themselves, just make it worse. Mm -hmm. So lucky enough now that that we haven't had problems with electrical or I know or yeah. water yet. Oh. Yeah, and it's really mm, go. Go, my friend. Go ahead. No, there was one time long na, like, it was my it was my first night in my our previous apartment, and then the fire alarm rang. So uh. I was crazy, crazy scared because. I know you would pay up to like within your unit or so that's the thing by I thought I was doing I was doing the like laundry and it was drying like it was spinning and everything I was asleep I forgot it was in the laundry so when I woke up I could, all, all I could hear was like the, the 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 alarm like ringing and everything so I thought that it was coming from my apartment so I was so scared that I would I would need to pay 6000 for it okay like because the, that only happens if, if the fire and uh, um, the department fireman comes. came. 
Yeah, okay. they, everyone came. Like everyone was uh, for, went out of the building and stuff. So luckily, it was not mine. Yeah, so I almost broke my fire alarm. Okay. I, I took it out and I was like I was I was I was punching the the, the silence alarm. Oh. So yeah, before that we didn't when we were first time we didn't know that you had to press it uh, to stop it. Yeah. It, 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 ours ours rang. Oh. Yeah, we were super scared because if I know na like if it goes beyond a certain time frame, diba? Yeah. Muna mo call na siya sa fire department. So, fire, uh, fire department. Yeah. Automatically. Thus you have to. We were cooking and smoky kaya steak usually, mm-hmm. diba? Mm. If it's oil and smoke, ay worst combo. Yeah. Shucks. Pero may gani, may gani like wala pa mo, wala pa yeah. mo call out or something. Yeah, wala pa. So hopefully, hi. Well, it usually work. happens here, Zad. Like if we bake something, yeah, baking usually generates a lot of smoke, Zad. Yeah. So yeah. Especially like I don't know why. It's a, maybe it's a safety feature. It's really close to the like the kitchen and stuff. So, mm-hmm. oh, it depends on layout, yun. Because so, generally, it's yung ang, from what I know, from what I've seen, said and because like it's kapila namin na inspections of the fire alarm. Usually, they put the fire alarm in front of the bedroom. If you yeah, notice, yeah. Uh-huh. Sa inyo abay ganon said because yeah, ours is in right right in front of the bedroom. Mm, we Pero have two. Pero mo ah, among bedroom right in front of the kitchen, said. Ah. So, we have two. That, that's why it's a common problem. Hmm. Pero like for bigger units like like I've seen a two bedroom, mas layo ang fire alarm because mas doon siya sa bedrooms than layo ang kitchen. Kitchen. Oh. So yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah, we're here. Oh. So I know you've moved into your new homes in thing I think last year and then my friend you just moved in as in like a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, so how month- how is it like a month ago? Hmm. How is married life treating you guys so far? Like, what have, what are the things you discovered about yourself? Hmm. Who, wants to, <laughs> who, wants, who wants to go ahead? I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. You can go ahead. My friend? Yeah, I think one of the, like, secret the things that I discovered about myself before I was really impatient, like mm. I was really impatient. Na siguro to visualize it, it's like I would be, but ako nang flush <laughs> on toilet because I want to finish it na something like that. Like I'm always really impatient, but now, like uh, I f- I feel na mas tolerant ko sa ni Kring na like getting ready to like if we go out. Mm. I'm already finished and and like other things na, like she has a way of doing things that's not the same with mine so yeah like you try to to adapt na, oh it's like this guy na, like you're, you're you're living with someone else na, mm. because I, I've never like all of like LDR me usually nickering and then we mm-hmm. we had we traveled a few times but now, now we're here, so yeah, you see a lot of things na were not there before, but you're okay mm-hmm. now. Huh. What about you, Ting? Oh, more, it, it's kind of opposite, I guess. So, I mean, for generally, it's... <laughs> no, 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 I mean, generally, there's, I don't see much of a change. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I remember you mentioned this, yeah. Hmm. So I don't really see anything new, I guess, for myself. Mm. Discovered or maybe rediscovered about mm. yourself. I don't know. So I don't think it's specific to the transition of getting married. Mm-hmm. I think it's getting older, lang siguro. Pero yeah. I think so what I mean, with, with specifically, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't see anything yet. I guess. But I mean, generally specific. I mean, specifically about getting married. I. I didn't see much of a change, siguro, mm-hmm. personally. Because I mean, because we've always been together like past ten years. Like yeah. she, we live in the same city. She sometimes even like back in when I was just in Makati, pa, she used to stay mm-hmm. over sometimes. Yeah. So it was never really a distance problem. We were always together. Then yeah. like growing up, said I've always lived with other people. Said dorm. I used to share a room with my brother. So we're like. 
living with other people has never been a problem for mm-hmm. me or mm-hmm. I never, I've never had to adjust I guess mm-hmm. and I live with, uh, when you start to live with another person mm-hmm. yeah what about tell me about the experience of moving into your new homes there like the physical home why decorating it or the first step, finding a home there. What was the experience like? For us, okay, our, our lease ended in our old apartment, but then we, ten, we, we opted to extend it. Hmm. Pero during that extension period, just a backstory, there's a crazy, we have crazy neighbors. Oh my gosh, they're crazy neighbors now. Like very dodgy, a lot of people coming in and out of their their apartment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that they're smoking and stuff. One afternoon, this crazy guy was knocking aggressively on our door, like ah, bama, like banging on our door. No more. We were really scared. We were really scared. Okay, at the building we were at the end of the the hall. Punya, it was so crazy. Okay, we had no one. We had we know, we don't know anyone from the building. No one knows we were there. So we tried to, I texted Inting and I texted uh, Ace who were here in Australia. Just, just, we just gave them our address. What if mamatay na miyato na day? So we were afraid we were going to die. Ano, hubog sila high or what? No, I think they were high. Uh, and they were they were crazy because... Um, you didn't check the fire exit or were jumping out the window as an option? <laughs> right, there was, no, jumping out the window was not an option. Okay? Like... It, it's it's on the second fl- uh, first floor first floor beto mo di ba at the end of the ho- hall beto mo ang among unit uh, I thought higher floor mo like no it was first floor oh, okay so yeah. you can't get out of the window you can but it's it's a struggle <laughs> no, it's a struggle but if, if if worst comes to worst yeah we were gonna we we're gonna jump, jump. over the floor. So, yeah uh, so, were they young or huh. Were they young or middle-aged? Middle-aged, and then there was this young guy. And then after much investigation, we knew uh, it was from the government. Yeah, they were people from the government. So the government sequestered a lot of homeless people during the, the virus. And they were uh, home there. Yeah. So scary, scary. So luckily, we found we, this building now we have we saw it from before mm. and they really really like it it looks really nice way yeah. yeah it's, it's across right. the lake and it's and it's, then your neighborhood's way way better than uh, yeah sure. way better by right? from from last one so everything's all nice here and stuff and ha huh, it was effort cuz diba right? i was on air tasker thing you told me about air tasker and i air task this um like mover mover so <laughs> that day i air tasked it. it was really it was okay it was like 200 something for all our stuff for our things oh, that's good but i expect that there were two of them <laughs> it's a long there was just one person oh the, yeah. but when you when you gave the task did he offer two people no it was it was um auto something auto auto approved task there's this there's this okay. uh options a uh, air tasker on front like, uh, okay if they meet the parameters or something yeah yeah direct so but we but did you specifically mention you need two people or no no man no 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 lang sir ah, okay. so yeah because for my so, case it was negotiated man like we mm-hmm. can offer this blah 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 mm-hmm. yeah so we had yeah so i had to move everything with him and then king was here and yeah <laughs> and every day every day since we moved every time we had a chance We'd go to IKEA or Bunnings. Yeah. Like, oh, it's really nice. Like buying plants, yeah. buying this and that. It, it's really nice. Yeah, IKEA way. Underrated. I grab it. IKEA is really nice. I, Underrated. I mean, it's you never go to IKEA not bringing anything like, out. Out. Yeah. But you always you always say na, oh, let's go to IKEA. Let's just like browse and stuff. Mm-hmm. You never browse in and IKEA. That- Always buying something. You always end up buying something, yeah. Yeah, I always end up buying something. And like, it's really nice. Like, it's affordable. And it makes you feel like accomplished. Okay, you, you tananga, assemble, you assembled everything from the couch, from yeah. the table. Yeah. So there's that personal touch, right? Yeah, the personal touch to 
like to the to your furniture at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not but furniture; it's art. But you think? Oh, so a similar experience. Like we wanted to move to a place closer to work, mm. um, and especially our old place, we had to walk quite, I don't know, like considerable distance, like a kilometer or more, to the train station. Young place number now is like we're right beside the station, and it's a much better station, new station, much better neighborhood. So that's really nice. Your neighborhood mm. is really nice. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's why we chose this place. And like generally, it's north of Sydney Z, which is generally better. Kind of posh. No, not really. But, uh, but I mean, posh better. Moyan. <laughs> posh Moyan. Then, yeah, I mean, we just found the place. The main cause and reason it is it's much closer to work. Because mm -hmm. we used to work in north Sydney Z. So, yeah, that was the main reason. That we found the place. We really liked it. We got it. The moving process is a bit, um, it was harder than I thought. So, like, we did have a lot of stuff back then. Like, we tried to minimize our stuff good. But when we started moving, we just realized we just had a lot of stuff. Yeah, no. that your bike. Yeah, I know, no, so now I'm, I'm kind of worried because like we have much more stuff now and when we need to move, mm -hmm. exactly. it's much harder now, I think. Because we, like, we bought twice the stuff that we had back then. Yeah. Like, we have a lot of new stuff, so it's I think it's going to be harder to move. So she gave me, we always, uh, King always says to me, now, okay, we're not moving anytime soon because we have a lot of things now. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of things. So like I mean, like we we had, we went beyond among allocated time. Some mover, like I I, I only um, booked two hours, but we took like three and a half. Me a with art, it was not per hour. It was per per item and hour. Ah, okay. So it makes it like you know easy, cheaper because it per item. Pero yeah, of course I think mean, mine was generally good. I mean, I, I like the movers. They were pretty okay. Like they disassembled the bed, assembled it. Yeah, they were. Pretty they did? Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> so we assembled yeah. our bed. And so when we moved in, we didn't have much stuff compared to now. Then it was pretty much a blank slate. Yeah, very mm -hmm. similar. So we experienced the brand that it's a home that you can build into. I guess like buy new couches, buy new whatever plants, oh, especially fat like she. Hi. She has a lot of plants, so yeah, Fat has a lot of plants. So like now she garden out like in our balcony we have like a small garden and she plants whatever. Now she And also those like, for like all the herbs and other plants. Now. Yeah, yeah, green onions. Totally. <laughs> Form the table and peg. Yeah. Yeah. It, we tried yeah, I mean, to grow yeah. yeah, we tried to grow lettuce sad by, but then yeah. it died because of the winter. <laughs> <laughs> winter and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, you tried avocado. It's it's not easy. <laughs> did it grow? No, I I don't know. I think it didn't. I just, I don't think it's worth it. So I think it's worth it. My herbs. Uh, but like, like green onions or my yeah, thyme, basil. Uh, thyme, basil. Yeah. But the rest yeah. more like delay. <laughs> the latest plant we bought was uh like a pair of Zanzibar gems. You know Zanzibar gems. So yeah. We bought it for for Kai. Because it's, it thrives on neglect. The plant thrives <laughs> on neglect. So you don't have to water it. You don't have to put it in yeah, the Yeah, na, 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 we bought also I mean, um, the common name is Kun. Um, mother in law's mother, tongue. Mother in law's tongue. Yeah, mother in law's tongue. Yeah. Pero what's, what's, the, what's the name of that plant? Snake plant. Um, Sansevieria. Oh, snake, snake plant. Snake plant. Snake plant. Sansevieria. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so is, is is that what you're? Is that the plant that you? Is that the plant? Is that the plant that you got? No, it's Zanzibar gem. Z -Z. Yeah, I mean you're, you're pretty familiar with the plant, right? Yeah, I'm familiar with the um, snake plant. Snake plant. It also lives on neglect. That's it. You don't have to. Uh, no. hmm. if, if too much sunlight, too much siya. water, too much, too much water, mamatay siya. Hmm. So like you water it once a month or something. In the winter times, mga twice the uh, once every two months. Ah, okay. Pero yeah, once a month, water, then you shouldn't put it in the sunlight too much. Kaya siya. No, no, no. So like, you just Not leave it. Really. And then apparently, it's a pest now. Like, it's a... It's and a the Philippines, it's like that. And yeah, it propagates really, really well. But it looks okay, yeah? It doesn't look... It looks nice. It's really ugly. Good. Actually, oh, it's like in the Pinas. Mm. Yeah. But they say it's a it's good source of guando. Like, fresh... Air? Air? All plants, actually, really. They filter the air. Oh. And it's funny like, they call it mother so lost. It's an outdoor and indoor plant? It's an indoor plant, indoor I'd plant. say. 
It's just an indoor plant. And we have ficus plants by. I mean, I, if you see that plant page, ma, you'll, you'll know what it is. Because, yeah, they're just a penis. It's a, it's, your a, picture. it's a long plant, leaf na plant na na yellow on the sides and green in the middle. Yeah, check it out. I said oh, that. I have that here now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So it dies if you water it or something. Yeah, that, that plant. And this is the plant we bought, Zanzibar Jam. Lovely. So speaking of, let's say, building the physical home, we always associate home with family. So I was, I was curious if you guys are thinking about having kids anytime soon, or do you feel any pressure <laughs> to have kids hmm. soon? You want to be? Or go go ahead. Well, for me, I mean, generally no pressure and not in our plans. At, na I mean, at, at first, like, we never, never really had plans, but there mm -hmm. was some pressure because, of course, we were the first to get married. Uh -huh. <laughs> then, I mean, my parents are not getting younger. I mean, they're pretty old now. Uh -huh. Like my dad's 76. Oh, really? Yeah. Then, how did you get married? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. 1949. Well, he looks young for his age, huh? <coughs> I don't think so. Your mom, your mom, George. Yeah, Tita. Tita was here for shopping in Melbourne. That's yeah. It's a shop. Anyways, I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I forgot. Did he 76? Maybe 71 or 72. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Wait, now what's 1949 by? 1949 is 71. Okay, 71. <laughs> Well, anyways, again. So I added five, sorry. So 71. Yeah, he turned 70 today. So he's turning 71. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're not, they're not, I mean, they're pretty old. So, of course, they need to like grandchildren. But yeah. lucky enough, <laughs> nakabuntis di akong kuya. So. <laughs> Pressure off. Off, off the ansanaka. And yeah, I mean, still, not anytime soon, I guess. Yeah. Well, during for me, time, sorry, my uh, friend. Last, I just oh. have a follow up question to Inting. During that time, na, the pressure wasn't off yet, the pressure was still on. How did you deal with it? I don't think there was a lot of pressure, though. I think it was more mm -hmm. of personal. Like, my, my parents never like, said it outright. Yeah, no coercion or no anything or nothing, no hints at all. But I mean, of course, there's that, I guess, thought on my head na parang. Hmm. They're not getting old, younger. Uh, what about you, my friend? Well, Kring and the one of the reasons I married Kring is like she's really good with kids. Like, and I, I ganang ko kids sad, so we were th yeah. talking about it na na we were gonna have a kid, like a baby after the wedding and stuff because you have to things like having a baby here is a plan. You have to make a plan. Of, mm. Okay. Not like in the Philippines, you have a lot of, you know, like people who to take care of your baby. Mm -hmm. Here, someone must do like part time and take care of the kids, and you know, you take yeah. turns really to 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 raise a child here. So, <clears throat> yeah, we were not pressured by my parents, but her parents, they're kind of they're kind of old nasad. And Doesn't her brother have a kid? Her brother has two kids, and then okay. one sister has one. But then, she's the one who recently married. She's the one who recently married, man. So they're pressuring mm -hmm. her to to see the liwat. Like, uh, when are we going to see your liwat? And uh, wow. liwat and stuff. But yeah, my parents they're not they're not pressuring me because they know na it's hard to have uh, a kid. Pero yeah, we we do want a kid. Like we do we do want want like seguro in the near. One or two years, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Same. Okay. But I think I think it's more like more of residency status. So mm. yeah, there's there's, there's wanna, a very different. You know. It's very yeah. different if you're a permanent resident here and mm -hmm. if you're not. You're on a temporary visa. Yeah. So currently, I mean, Brent and I are both temporary visas. So mm -hmm. we haven't transitioned to residency yet. Mm -hmm. There's a very big gap in terms of <clears throat> healthcare benefits. Yeah, benefits. Yeah, in general, day. Mm -hmm. Side note, I told him thing before. Na we're so I, I was so lucky to have like a friend, ba, 
who's going through the same mm-hmm. moments as I am, like, you know, yeah. moving here. And so, like, visa processing and stuff. Okay? Mm-hmm. Even though we don't usually talk to each other, you know, get in touch. But when we do get in touch with each other, we, we kind of click. <laughs> we kind of click. Ah. You know, we, 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 ah. we tend to, you know, just like, mm-hmm. keep flow lang ang conversation. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, cool. Thanks for that. Snacks. Well, I have two last questions. Nila pa sa thirty minutes, but what else? I have two last questions. So the first, the second to the last question is, what do you miss about home? And home, by home, I mean Pinas. Hmm. Cebu or Manila? Wow. And so, Manila. so, 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 no, I mean, because I mean, you, you have to acknowledge the fact that for some time it had become home. Yeah, yeah. Up to you. Up you can't to you. deny it. You can't deny it. Yeah. Hmm. What do I... I mean, Philippines in general, similarly, like small luxuries. But uh, I mean, that's the most obvious, siguro na. I mean, apart from family, but I mean, most obvious is in big transition. But uh, thing that you miss, you I guess, like. Friends or people or family? I know food. <laughs> yeah, food yeah, too. yeah. Of, I mean, those experiences come with friends. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> or are best spent with friends, siguro. True, like yeah, yeah back, back when I know, like siguro Cebu, yeah, uh, family siguro. number one and friends. But like in Manila, like before, um, like every weekend I used to go out with Silapao, mm. or like like kita, di ba? Before we used to go out every time. There was even a time every day when we just moved back to Cebu, de ba? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like even I mean, like even back in Manila, de ba? Week, week, weekend club or yeah. like whatever. Wow. Club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we used to go out and. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. My shallow answer, siguro, is, siguro the sinugba, <laughs> food. But like, no matter how you rec- recreate the sinugba at home, yeah, you never, you can never do it. Like, I don't know why. Maybe it's the uling and the the smoke yeah. The, I think the it's the uling. And like, no, no matter, matter what you do, how you follow the 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 marinade and whatever, but you, if you just grill it. Oh, but ginit wag ginit marinade, marinade. Salt okay. pepper, ra, yung gorba, uling ra. Hmm. <laughs> you I think yeah. Yeah, the, the, those things you really miss. Okay. All, all the other things, you find it here. Man. It's just like how it's cooked and, well, the taste of home, whatever. Ah, uh, choice. <laughs> mm. nah, like, you have, you have, like, on a Sunday, you have Sinoba. And- mm. But you mean, like, if, if when we, I mean, when we visit in Christmas in Melbourne, like, when we go to that place, so my co- yeah, Valley. Like, there's a barbecue, so let's try to. Yeah, let's try. And we can go like wine tasting one day. Lovely. But we can't drive. No, yeah, but there's a like a hop on hop off bus in Yara, in Yara Valley. Truth. All right. So my final question to close this episode is: How would you define home, or where is home? Oh. <laughs> it's so cheesy, but what else? Go now. <laughs> Wow, it's equally deep and very cheesy. <laughs> right. Hmm. I think as you go older, it becomes more of a choice. Because mm-hmm. like when you were young, I mean, you didn't have a choice when you were young. Siguro, like home is your basic family unit, right? That's your definition. Mm. Like it's uh, my mom, my my brother, sister. So you know that's home i have a house but i mean as you get older it becomes more complex you move out mm. you have friends you have work so mm. sometimes you have your work friends you have your anna that's your home becomes a bit more of a blur and then yeah you choose your set of friends some friends you lose some i mean come and go then mm-hmm. there are some friends that you rather spend more time with you really mm-hmm. choose then at the end, like yeah, when you get married, I mean, like it's 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 like when you first magawiyab siya by like when you get your first girlfriend or whatever, your friends will say now you don't have time for us na you make that conscious choice to spend more of that time with that mm-hmm. other person. It's mm-hmm. like marry marriage is like that since you make that choice. Now that's, I mean, where you go, where you spend most of your time, mm-hmm. 
So I guess that's basically home. It becomes more of a choice na where you spend most of your time. Mm. It becomes a more of a conscious effort as mm-hmm. you get older na I need to spend time with friends. I need to spend time with like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So it's a choice. Yeah. Just like love. Trust. Yes. It's got back. I think in the lines of Vic in thing, I think home is where you decide to plant yourself. Like you 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 try to plant whatever yourself what in do you a, plant by? <laughs> your seed. You plant your seed. Like it could be like a like a physical home as you mentioned, or you could be a relationship could be a home. Like 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 your relationship with a friend is is home. Your relationship with a certain feeling or food is home. So it's where you decide to plant and nurture and grow your yourself in that uh, home. So that's where home is, or that's what home is for me. So. Aww, lovely. And with that, thank you so much, guys, for saying yes to my invitation. Regards to Pat and Kring. I'll stop recording, but then we'll just we can talk after. Cause na okay. few more minutes. <laughs> sure. Bye. Oh, sh- Thank you. Thanks for having Thank us. You.